Hey, good day, Gainesville. I'm your host, Justin, from the Greater Gainesville Chamber of Commerce, and it's time to get your monthly serving of Gainesville ketchup. <laughs> Our goal is to create clarity around statistics in Florida that affect the greater Gainesville community. We hope that uh, by learning about certain stats, you'll be inspired to help create positive change, which in turn helps the well-being of our beautiful city. So this month, we're going to be covering some educational stats. With back to school just around the corner, let's get caught up on the current relevant data. Currently, get this. Only 49% of Alachua County third graders are reading at their grade level, and that number is declining. Why is this important? Because if students are not at the right level by grade three, school will become increasingly harder for them. And that often leads to disengagement that will last the rest of their school career. And that can affect both graduation, incarceration rates, and ultimately the amount of prisons that are built. Think about that. Reading proficiently by third grade is a crucial benchmark that tends to predict later academic performance and ultimately high school graduation. And those lagging early on seldom catch up. So what can be done about this? Hmm? I have an idea. Volunteering with literacy programs in our school system is a great step. The United Way of North Central Florida is always looking for volunteer mentors to participate in their statewide early literacy initiative, Reading Pals. That matches mentors with students from voluntary pre-kindergarten all the way up to third grade, which might need a little extra help. Another way to help kids who are taking challenges with their education is to become a mentor with the Education Foundation of Alachua County's Take Stock in Children program. Take Stock in Children identifies high achieving, low income public school students who show the potential to go to college and it provides them with the support that they need. And mentors serve as a positive role model, uh, advocates, coaches, and even friends. And as an added bonus, you might get a master class in the teenage slang, so no more head scratching when you hear your kids talking about their friend, no cap. <laughs> Everyone will be vibing. So get your team involved by reaching out to one of these organizations today and see the difference that you can make in your community. It's one thing to learn about it, but it's another thing to do it. We have a lot of chamber members committed to creating change in the community daily. Together, we can do this. It's not just something to say, it's something that we believe. Do you?